Sir, I'm Molly and this is Rocket Boom. Ah, pirates. Is there anything more enviable than the freedom of a pirate? Exploration, adventure, the wide open seas. But how free were pirates really? Pirates were in fact restricted by rules, referred to as pirate code. Pirate code was full of policies and principles, even established with contracts, as part of a framework of laws that each pirate had to follow. Under penalty of death. These contracts were usually signed at the start of a voyage by each member of the crew, often while swearing in on weapons in lieu of a bible. A ship's pirate code varied from captain to captain, but generally ensured terms such as fair distribution of treasure and a protocol for resolving disputes among other pirates. Lots and lots of disputes among pirates. Unfortunately, a great deal of information about pirate code has been lost from history, as the documents were typically burned by pirates at the end of an adventure so they couldn't be used against them. However, some surviving documents do exist. <clears throat> he woke up one night from a loud explosion which suddenly set his entire oil platform on fire. Wrong document. Any man who deserts the ship in a battle will be punished with marooning. Any man who steals anything from the ship of a greater value than a piece of eight shall be shot or marooned. Musicians may rest on the Sabbath, but otherwise are required to play six days a week, under penalty of marooning. And aside from everyone really being into marooning, there even became a full-on standardization for pirate code. Brethren of the Coast was founded by one of the most successful pirates of all time, Henry Morgan. The Brethren sought to increase their profitability and ambitions by working with the law instead of against it. They consisted largely of privateers, which were pirates who attacked specific areas at the behest of a government. For example, during the Thirty Years' War, privateers signed documents with the British government called Letters of Marquis, which gave them permission to attack Spanish ships in order to disrupt enemy supply chains. However, when the Thirty Years' War ended, and the armies of Europe were no longer busy attacking each other, they came together to crack down on piracy. Today's pirates are far and few in between, but they do exist, and have been especially famous with over 100 attacks near Somalia in 2010 alone. But let's be real, a pirate's life neither was nor is an affair with freedom. It's all about the gold. Every pirate just wants nice things, and everyone is a pirate. Even Buddha. Depending on how you look at it. Arr!